What's going on guys? This is the Wobbuffet, and welcome to a mechanic short all about Stopping Tantrum on Primal Groudon. If you're only familiar with Stopping Tantrum as Mega Metagross's ground-type coverage move from BGC 2018, then you might be surprised how many different ways and how often Groudon can trigger a 150 base power Stomping Tantrum, including many Precipice Blades interactions. If Stomping Tantrum was only 75 base power, it'd still be a decent option for physical attack to Groudon. Having a single target attack allows Groudon to get around wide guard, and having 100% accuracy allows Groudon to avoid some endgames where it would otherwise have to risk Precipice Blades miss. Stomping Tantrum's bonus base power effect can be activated whenever its most recently used move failed to animate, as a general rule. Let's see some common examples that apply to every Stomping Tantrum user, then look at some specific examples with Primal Groudon. Getting flinched, for example from Fake Out or Rock Slide, will cause Stomping Tantrum to have doubled base power. As you can see, an intimidated Stomping Tantrum still easily won at KO's Incineroar here after the doubled base power. Taking a sleep turn, being fully paralyzed, attempting to fall, or hitting yourself in confusion will double Stomping Tantrum. For example, if Groudon here takes a sleep turn from Amoongus' Spore, then wakes up to use Stomping Tantrum, it's able to do a lot of damage to Xerneas. If the last action failed, displaying the But It Failed message, Stomping Tantrum will have doubled base power. The most likely situation for this to occur to Groudon is with a failed double protect. You can see that this boosted Stomping Tantrum is able to one it KO an opposing Primal Groudon easily. If the last move used hit into an immunity, then Stomping Tantrum will be doubled. For example, if last turn I whiffed Stomping Tantrum into a switched in Cresselia, the follow up Stomping Tantrum has doubled base power and can deal hefty damage to Tapu Fini. One important situation where Stomping Tantrum does not double in base power is against Protect for moves like Wide Guard. For example, if my Groudon's Fire Punch lands into the opposing Amoongus' Protect here, you can see a small animation pop up before it says Amoongus protected itself. Since there was an animation, my follow-up Stomping Tantrum into the opposing Primal Groudon here only has 75 base power, not 150 base power. Groudon has a number of specific ways to double Stomping Tantrum as well that separates it from Mega Metagross. To start things off, if Fire Punch is used as an opposing Primal Kyogre switches in to block the Fire-type attack, then next turn Stomping Tantrum has double base power. This boosted Stomping Tantrum does a huge chunk of damage to Kyogre. Precipice Blaze is a whole different can of worms. Normally, to get a doubled Stomping Tantrum from Precipice Blades, the attack would have to hit into two immunities, like a Flying Type and Levitate, or two Levitates, or something similar, or Precipice Blades would have to miss both opponents. However, if the opponent protects one of their Pokémon, and the other slot meets the condition to fail Stomping Tantrum, Stomping Tantrum will double. Let me show you what I mean. If Precipice Blades is used here into Groudon and Cresselia, as Groudon protects, Stomping Tantrum has doubled base power on the following turn, and is able to one it KO the opposing Primal Groudon. In a similar way, if Precipice Blades lands into a Protect but misses the other slot, Groudon now has access to a 150 base power Stomping Tantrum. This interaction with Stomping Tantrum and Protect was originally discovered by an Italian player named Davide in late September of 2018. But why does it work this way? The answer is beyond the scope of this video, but the short answer is that the game checks all its targets for Protect prior to checking for things like type immunities, accuracy, and other conditions. These checks were only properly documented recently by fellow battle mechanics researcher Sadistic Mystic, which I intend to cover formally in a video in the future. Comment below if you'd like to see a video about his research and the applications you can draw from it. Until next time, have a good one.